Hello friends, pull get this side from Gadget Generations, and today I'm going to bring you a brand new video review for the 7 Hertz, 7 Hertz Legato. Legato is a brand new earphone priced at 109 US dollars in the international market and about 9,000 Indian rupees. This is a dual dynamic uh, driver earphone with very beautiful metallic ear shells. So without wasting any more time, let us begin with the unboxing part first. But I would like to thank Concept Card India for providing me with this review sample for the purpose of this review. You guys can go and check it out on their website. I will be adding the links in the description section below. There is that is not an affiliated link, and you guys can go and purchase it from their website for 8,690 Indian rupees. So let's get started with the unboxing. Well, that was the unboxing for the 700 Legato. I hope you guys enjoyed the B-rolls that I have added later to the unboxing. Uh, first of all, talking about the contents, you get multiple pairs of ear tips, all are silicon. You get uh, some replaceable nozzle filters. You get a beautiful carry case. The carry case is uh, actually the package of the pair. It, you, it is similar to the Dioco that we used to get with the Dioco 700's previous planner IEM. Uh, the uh, let's start the review with the discussion about the design and build quality of the pair the pair is built quite nicely i am mightily impressed of its all metallic build despite being all metallic it is quite light in weight and sits uh, sits comfortably into your ears and provides a good uh, comfortable firm fit you also get good isolation from the surrounding noises uh, I'm still using the stock ear tips so they fit me nicely and provide a really good listening experience. Uh, talking about the build quality, the design quality, the design is completely metallic and has a beautiful face cover with uh, these st circular stripes uh, pattern if my camera is able to focus otherwise I've included several b-rolls you might be able to focus onto that part onto uh, through those b-rolls. 
<coughs> moving ahead to the uh, drivability part, oh, also the cable uses two pin connectors. It looks like uh, MMCX on the first glance, but it is a two pin connector and uh, provides a firm connection. Also, the included stock cable is quite soft and light in weight, it is easier to use. And uh, moving ahead to the, it comes with a 3.5 mm plug. I would have appreciated if they included a 4.4 mm version. I guess uh, we got the uh, we have an option to purchase while purchasing the unit to choose the 3 4.4 mm variant so moving ahead to the drivability part the pair is not easy is not hard to drive it it is fairly easy to drive it has an impedance rating of 26 ohms with a sensitivity of 108 decibels it can be driven easily off any given source i have used it primarily with the hebi r6 pro 2 that i currently have for the purpose of review also i have used it with my shanling m7 the pair is being driven nicely on low gain mode on the Shanling M7 and about medium gain on the R6 Pro 2 through the 3.5mm single handed output. There is no problem driving them. I have also enjoyed this pair straight out of my, out of my MacBook output. So the pair is easily driven. You will be able to enjoy it thoroughly but also obviously I always recommend using a dedicated USB deck amp or a dedicated player just when take the full uh, bring out the full potential with better amplification and better deck capabilities of these devices. Moving ahead on to the sound quality part, the sound quality part is the Legato sounds quite interesting. It has a powerful sound response, it has a powerful lower end response. The overall output of the 700 Legato is focused primarily on delivering a powerful lower end. The bass response of the Legato is simply magnificent. It delivers a hard hitting, thumping bass response, especially in the mid bass region, but extends deep into the sub bass region as well. You get a a strong rumble in the sub bass region you get a powerful slamming mid bass the drums on the uh, legato sounds just absolutely thunderous they have a really powerful uh, uh, experience with the don't go go on the small size of these ear these earphones they deliver a very strong lower end response these are probably the uh, bass heads wet dream these deliver a very strong bass response the bass response is uh, the mid range uh, has good uh, clarity despite having a very strong bass response although i would say that the uh, mid bass uh, extends up up to the lower mids and covers a bit of details on that part but it doesn't sound grainy for any of my use case i have used thoroughly with multiple devices and i don't notice a grainy or dirty response it uh, maintains good clarity for vocals as well vocals have the warmth the bass the bass response the warmth that is provided by the bass response they have a lushness to them especially male vocals they have that heaviness heftiness to them that makes them sound quite wonderful on the pair treble is done smoothly it is uh, it uh, has a soft and smooth presentation don't expect a lot of details i would say that the legato is primarily focused on delivering a very strong lower end response and maintaining a clean mid-range response treble is nice it is there it is nice it is smooth but uh, it is not a lot of energetic and it is not having a lot of details into them you just get a clean and smooth presentation technically the legato has decent performance it is having above average uh, sound stage the width of the sound stage is quite nice and it has a good width to the it uh, it has a good width to itself also with added bass response you can have a good sense of depth to the stage as well Although I would say that the Legato's experience is quite intimate and immersive, it isn't a super wide uh, uh, sound stage, it has a decently wide sound stage that will suffice with most genres. Uh, talking about the uh, other technical parts like imaging and layering, the Legato handles them well, it has an above average uh, level of layering and imaging capabilities. It sorry. It doesn't sound congested or uh, you know, congested or uh, very uh, boxy presentation it doesn't have that it has quite an open presentation it has good uh, level of separation to you know present uh, rock music in a good manner as well so to summarize the legato sound you get powerful bass response you get a clean mid-range all uh, although it has that uh, touch from the bass response it has that heftiness it has that weight from the bass response but you won't notice any kind of uh, dirtiness or muddiness in the mid-range you will be happy with the strong bass and a clean mid-range moving at the to the treble treble is, is smoothly done it uh, doesn't have a lot of details but it is nicely done Technically, it is a quite a competent IEM. You won't get a lot of details, but you get decent imaging, you get decent layering, and you get a decently wide sound stage as well. 
इट हैज़ एन इमर्सिव प्रेजेंटेशन द वोकल्स आर क्वाइट लश एंड हैवी दे डिलीवर अ डिसेंट एंड इमर्सिव प्रेजेंटेशन फॉर द लिसनर एंड ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द टॉकिंग अबाउट द एडिड बेस रिस्पॉन्स द विद द एडिड बेस रिस्पॉन्स यू द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स लाइक एकोस्टिक गिटार्स एंड पियानोज ऑल्सो हैव एन एडिड सेंस ऑफ वेट दिस साउंड वेटेड एंड दैट इज अ प्रेजेंटेशन दैट आई पर्सनली लाइक so uh, legato i would personally recommend for people who are looking for iems specifically for uh, watching movies and enjoying casual music as well uh, it has a decent level of clarity it has a powerful bass response for uh, i would really recommend these for people who are who love having heavy bass response who love listening to heavy and strong bass response that com- that is really complementing to genres such as edm hip hop and also complements gaming as well well that was the my review for the 7 hertz legato this is a very good sounding im for the price of 110 us dollars or about 9000 indian rupees you get a very uh, good sounding set for for bass lovers uh, for neutral lovers you might have to look somewhere else well that was the review i hope you guys enjoyed the, watching this review now on to some comparison part I would like to compare this with the recently reviewed the Simgot EA500 that I recently shared a review on this particular channel I will also add the link in the description section below you guys can go and check it out as well if you haven't so the Simgot EA500 has a more neutral presentation it has a neutral to brightish tuning while the Legato has a warm tuning and also has a very strong bass response the bass response of Legato Legato takes the entire stage and uh, do, uh, and presents its dominance through uh, for every track that you play on it uh, the simgot on the other hand has a uh, better technical performance it has better uh, improved details it has improved resolution as well uh, but the vocals might sound a little more up front in compared to the legato and a little bit thinner in comparison to the legato legato has a more has a lusher presentation compared to the ea500 Well, that was the comparison with the E500, and that is my that completes my review for the 7 Hertz Legato. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this re- video review of mine. Uh, don't forget to leave me a like, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much. And also, if you guys have any questions related to the Simgo E500 or the 7 Hertz Legato, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thank you so much.